another Blender video. In today's video, I'll be showing you, if you didn't know already, how to render in 16K, or any resolution is as a matter of fact. If you didn't know that you can go over here in Blender, if I switch this quickly to Cycles, you can type in really any resolution that you want. Instead of like 1920 by 1080, let's just say we can render in 4K. So to do that, let's just go to 3840 3, by 2160. Boom, you're rendering 4K. You could even render in 100K if you even want to do. Like, but you, I'm guessing your computer right now currently can't handle it. If it can, though, good for you. Well, anyway, in today's video, I'll be discussing how long it's actually going to take to render in 16K. So as always, let's just get straight into it. So for this, I'll actually be using one of my other scenes that I did in one of my other tutorials. It's basically this um, laser blaster thing that I created. Uh, you can find that in one of my other tutorials. So I'll be using this basically for testing. And typically, I would render, render this in the EV render engine. But for now, we're going to go to cycles. So since we're testing out how long it's going to take us to render in 16K. I'm just going to go over here and start adjusting some of these settings so you can get some higher performance. And by the way, adjusting these uh, Blender settings over here, depending on what machine or PC that your laptop, whatever you're rendering on, you're using, can really improve your render times. I heard about from someone in the comments, right down below on one of my other videos, how to render faster. I'll link that below in the description if you want to go check it out. They said it took one of their scenes an hour and 30 minutes to render. After following my tutorial, they got down that render time just under six minutes. So it can really make a difference if you switch up these render settings over here. So let's just uh, render these in 1080p, 4K, 8K, and 16K, and I'll show you guys the results. There we go, we just finished for rendering on 1080p, and we got about 28.84 seconds. So we'll just log that down, and we should be good. Okay, continuing on. Next step, 4K. So 4K is 8, 3840 by 2160. So theoretically, this should be four times as long as, four, ta four times as long to render than uh, 1080p. And it's also a lot larger as you can scale out. You can see these squares have gotten much, much smaller. So that's how you know the resolution has been increased greatly. Just cutting in here. If you guys are wondering, this thing is actually animated. So we actually have a small particle system here that shoots out little laser bolts from this little uh, rifle here. So that's why this little block is there. It's actually just stuck there from the particle system. I forgot to take it out. And while this is rendering, I'll show you some of the settings we're using also. We're going a 500 samples and 32 for the viewport and for light pass. I bumped that, I brought that, that down from 12 to eight. And for performance, it's 32 by 32 tiles. In the compositing over here, we also should have, uh, to improve our results greatly, we should have put a denoise and possibly a glare node, maybe to just get some of these lights to pop a little. Okay, our render is done. And we got one minute and 51 seconds. So it should, our uh, theory is roughly on track here. So it is roughly four times as long with like around a nine second difference. Actually, if we go into the calculator and uh, just quickly check, 28.84 multiplied by 4 equals 115 seconds divided by. So we get roughly about 1.9 seconds, I mean 1.9 minutes. So it's pretty much on track here. It's been four times as long. So let's go over here and bump this up from 
for regular good old 4k resolution up to 8k and see how long that takes Okay, so our 8K render has now finished, and we're sitting around 8 minutes and 3 seconds. There you go, recording this down now. So, in total, that's so far on track. Now, to go on, on to the finale. 16k. How long will it take to render? I think uh, maybe around 16 minutes, maybe. Who knows? So 16k is 15,360 by 8,600 and 40 pixels that is absolutely insane so here we go will I even have enough RAM and if people were interested in what I was running I'm running Core i9 9820X CPU, around 10 cores, 20 threads, running at 3.84 GHz, 885 now, around there. And I have 32 gigs of RAM, which is approximately, it's using 9.1 so far, and NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2070. And I've never seen it go up to 83% usage. I've only seen it go 1-2% one to, one to in some of my lower renders, I've never rendered an 8K. So, I hope I don't run out of VRAM. <laughs> Taking a look at that right now, I'm running at 21% usage, so approximately 2 gigs of VRAM currently in use. Okay, so 54, 20 mi 54 minutes, 21 seconds, and 0.13 milliseconds later, we are finally done with the 16K render. I could really, I really wish I could see this in its full beauty, but sadly I have a 1920 by 1080 monitor. But I do, but I do have a 4K screen on my laptop, so I'll be enjoying it, looking at it like that. Oh man, you can see re really see how he scaled up here. I haven't entered here since 1920 by 1080. So this is what 1920 by 1080 screen would really look, and if we zoom this out, this is 16K. And e even as you zoom in, you get almost little to no loss of detail. It's only when you zoom really, really in, you can see the little individual pixels, but up to here, you get serious detail. So if you really want to crop in your animations or something, I, I don't know. 16k is for you if you have a fast enough computer to render it at a good speed and as we know if you go into the compositing just add in a denoise node it's gonna make things like 10 times better maybe even add in a little bit of a glare just to make those streaks pop a little a little bit of fog glow bring that down to like size of six high quality go back to rendering over here and as you can see it's compositing down there the render result and it's a bit laggy too and uh, let's see there we go I guess that's the 16k render is done now so the final results that we have here for our regular 1080p render we got 28 seconds and 0.84 milliseconds for our 4k render we got 1 minute and 51 seconds with 44 milliseconds 
for our 8k render we got eight minutes with three minutes i mean eight minutes with three seconds and 14 milliseconds and for our 16k render 50 more 54 minutes 21 seconds and 0.13 milliseconds and that concludes our 16 or resolution tests for blender if you like this video hit that like button if you dislike the video hit that dislike button and if you like my general if you like my videos in general don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button and i'll see you guys in the next video bye Ooh, just a little clip down here it's still compositing it's the fi the file size is so large and it's still compositing i i've never seen a file take this long to composite just also a little side note we're using 28 gigs of ram to composite it currently 52 percent of my cpu and 35 for whatever fluctuation we have for GPU, 71%, 55%, and still compositing. Ooh, you jumped up to 30 gigs, 30.9 30, 30 gigs. And I think I might run out of RAM.